Hello my friends, today we are talking about the smallest smoking machine on the planet. At least so they claim it is. It is very small indeed. It's this uh, little gadget here. It's called a uh, Microfogger 3 Pro. Microfogger 3 Pro. It's from a company called, let me see what was called, Vossen Tech. I'll put the link in the description below. And this is not a sponsored video. I bought this with my own money and uh, I have no affiliate links or anything. It's just a really cool gadget that I discovered a few months ago. And I will talk to you about it in a second. In the past, I've used a lot of this um, atmosphere aerosol cans. And I always had a problem with this ones because you cannot control the amount of fog that is coming out of them. So when you, you know, push the nozzle, it's just smoke everywhere. And if you're indoors, it's just a big mess and you just cannot control it. This little gadget, it's very, very um, well done. It has a few adjustment buttons over here where you can adjust the power of the fan. And that's just how much, how fast the smoke comes out of the machine. You also have another button where you can uh, set the he coil heat. So how much smoke it produces, how fast it hits the, the solution. And um, it has a button for making it smoke. I'm gonna do it just a little bit here. I don't wanna create a giant smoke, but you know, just like that, you can get smoke. I don't know if you were able to see that. But uh, yes, it has an on and off button. Now we have smoke in here. And uh, I don't know, I'm just very, very happy with it. Um, it fits in any of my backpacks. I can take it with me. It's great for portrait photography, product photography, and food photography. I've been using this one for food photography. And if you ever try to take food of, uh, if you ever try to take photos of steam coming out of the food, then you know you have a very, very limited amount of time. As your food gets cold, there will be no more steam and it's very hard to photograph. Well, with this little gadget, I can take photos of steamy food at any time, even if the food is cold. And I'm gonna insert um, a little short video of how I used it to um, create steam on a coffee. There was actually cold coffee, it was just instant coffee mixed with cold water. So you will see my little secret on how I use that. When you buy this little gadget, it comes with a bottle of the fog liquid and with an extra heating coil. Uh, now I do recommend when you order, you order an extra bottle of fog liquid and another pack of five coils as you will need to replace them once in a while. They last for a long time, but I have not had to replace one yet. The machine has a button that you can turn on the fog over here, but also has a little remote. And this little remote is handy because you can hide this somewhere in your scene and then remotely trigger it as you are taking photos. The remote has four little buttons. They're named A, B, C, D. And uh, the way they're programmed is A will produce the most smoke, B less smoke, C even less, and D, it's almost like a incense, like a candle smoke. Let's see, this is the, the least smoke. So it's just like slowly triggers. I don't know if you can, if it picks it up on video or not, but that's how it works. You can also, it charges through this little cable. It's a USB to US, it's not a USB-C. I think it's a micro, or I don't even know what it is, mini, but it comes with a charging cable. And then also I purchased this little attachment and it has a little disc diffuser over here. And the way this one works, you will just screw it into your um, heating tank. This is the tank where you put the liquid in, you unscrew it and you put the liquid in. I'll tell you more about that in a second. But you see now I have this uh, tube and a little disc diffuser and I can direct the smoke wherever I want it. You see, let me just use the remote for this because it's cooler with the remote, why not? So now I can, where do I put it so you can see it? Let's see. So you see the smoke comes from my little dinghy now, diffuser. Oof. 
and we are getting smoky. And it just makes it a really, really cool way to um, take photos. When you buy the device, and if you buy one of these attachments to use with the hose, it does not come with the hose. By the way, you can take the little disc off and just use it just like that with just the hose if you need like a direct stream of smoke. I'm gonna try to point it that way, away from me. I don't know if you can see it. It produces a lot of smoke. If you are outdoors and there is no wind, you can definitely smoke up a person for portraits and definitely for indoors, it works really well. Um, so this tube does not come with it. When you buy it, it just comes with the tank, the machine, the heating coils, two of them, the charging cable, and the remote. So I went on their website and tried to get this uh, tube and there was nowhere to be found. Uh, I didn't know what should I use. And I tried to contact customer service to ask them where can I buy this tube to use their little attachments that they do sell on their website. And customer service is basically non-existent for this company. They have no phone number, they have no email on their website, nothing. So I went on their Instagram and Facebook and direct messaged them and asked them about what kind of tube to get and I've never heard anything back from them. So not so great customer service, but it is a great tool, it works great, it's very, very handy, and um, I totally recommend it. One more thing, when you first get the gadget, you have to turn it on by the on switch button. Then you put in the cable and charge it. It charges it in about two hours. And then once it's fully charged, you can use it. If you did not just charge it because it's been charged for, you know, last week or whatever you used it, Make sure you turn it on half an hour before you need to use it because it needs to heat up the solution and the coil and stuff. So you don't want to burn that one out. Turn it on 30 minutes before you need it and then it's good to go. This little silicone tube I bought from Amazon. I would leave it uh, the link in the description below if you want to get it. I purchased like four of them because I didn't know what size it will work for this little gadget. But um, I did find one that worked and this one worked great and you might want it if you want to use their little attachments. I hope this was useful and if you're interested of getting this, I will leave a link in the description below. It's not an affiliate link, it's not sponsored and uh, yeah, really, really cool gadget. I like it a lot and um, I recommend it. Easy to use, very handy and you just have smoke at all time. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you in my next video.